Greetings. I just want to encourage you to declare it in the mirror. Whatever is your desire, whatever you would like to manifest in this world, declare it in the mirror. If you want things to work very fast in your life and you want to see results because you believe that imagination creates reality, if you believe that consciousness is the only reality and you're using your consciousness to live your life whichever way you want it to be, I am encouraging you to declare it loudly in the mirror. Now, for example, I used to work in the post office for many years and because of that, I had some exposure towards, you know, maritime laws and aviation laws because I used to be at the airport and at times I used to be at the port also. And so they have maritime laws and they have aviation laws and so on. And so when I used to deal with the airline, they would talk about the manifest and so on. Okay. And each and every one of us, we want to manifest. Okay. And so in the aviation and so on, they, they always talk about manifest. And then, and the, the port, okay, uh, maritime, they would all be, be talking about declaration. Okay. Where's the custom declaration and so on to declare. Okay. So all of these things are actually principles of the mind. They all come from the mind. You see, everything that we are encountering each and every day in our life is basically a replica of who we are. And that is why, my brother and my sisters, when you look in the mirror, you're getting a reflection of yourself and you realize that there's a self of you that is the shadow you and there's a self of you which is the physical, hard and objective fact of you in terms of the part of you that is matter and, that the, part, and the part of you that is energy. Therefore, when you look in the mirror, you are actually beholding actually your energy body. And so because everything is energy, you are vibrating that energy in the mirror, speaking to yourself because the self of man is actually God. So you are declaring it and even the Bible tells you to declare it when it says that you shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass. It means you shall declare it. You shall speak it into existence and speaking it into existence means that you speak in a convincing way because you have certain knowledge and you understand energy, vibration, and frequency, and it will put you on a certain vibrational frequency that would match the frequency of that which you desire, and you would attract it to you. So, my brother, my sisters, that is why it tells you that you must seek first the kingdom. And when you find the kingdom of God, you will find a kingdom of declaration, a kingdom where you can declare your independence. Because you will realize that you can only depend on that infinite power to achieve your every desire. And it is individual. It is personal. And that is why you are told to accept the Lord, the Christ, as your personal Savior. The reason why it's personal Savior, because your Savior is your higher self, your true self, your inner self. And that is why... You must use the mirror because everything is a reflection of you. This entire world you behold on the outside is a reflection of the world that is within you. So when you go before the mirror with this kind of knowledge and this kind of understanding, it will help you to attract whatever you desire to you. And that is why when we look at the life of Neville Goddard and his mentor Abdullah, we see that Abdullah taught Neville Goddard that the central character of the Bible is man's imagination. Therefore, imagination always gives you your reflection. Imagination always gives you the result of what you sow. That's why you're told, as you sow, so shall you reap. What it is saying? It is saying that as you think, so shall you be. And the Bible clearly states that as a man thinketh in his heart. What is your heart? Your heart is speaking of your subconscious mind. That part of you that doesn't sleep, the dreamer in you. And it says that as you think, 
in your subconscious mind, so are you. So my brother, my sister, you're responsible for your life. And every day you are in front of the mirror. And that is to show you that you are always beholding yourself. Everything that is happening to you on the outside, it is you beholding yourself. So if there's lack and there's mediocrity in your life, you are beholding and all picturing of yourself. Therefore, if you want to change from lack to prosperity, you have to behold that within yourself and it will reflect on the outer screen of space. It will reflect in this three-dimensional world. So, my brother and my sisters, the mirror is very powerful. That is why so many people are chopped to their black mirror, which is the cell phone. Okay, because it has a certain energy. Okay, and the, many people are getting pulled into it and being consumed and becoming consumers of just strictly getting more and more content after content after content, but not putting anything to work in their life because they do not know their relationship with themselves and the mirror. But my, my brother, my sister, everything is an art picturing of yourself. Get to understand the law of correspondence. As above, so below. As it is within, so is it without. And you will understand where I am coming from. But as I come to close here, I just want to remind you that Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and 11, it tells you that the entire world, everything that you behold without, it is downloaded within you. And this is a great time for you to see that truth when you look at a flash drive. Everything is downloaded within the flash drive, but you will never see it unless you plug it into the computer. And all these things are a replica of who you are. So my brother, my sisters, not until you get plugged in and not until you break out of the programming, not until you break out of the matrix thinking that you would realize that when you go before the mirror and you declare your life whichever way you want it to be, so shall it be. So declare it in the mirror. Whatever is your desire, declare it in the mirror. Let the mirror be your best friend. Do not go before the mirror to criticize yourself, but to love and embrace yourself. Let the mirror, as I said before, let me say it again, let the mirror be your best friend that you can declare your every desire. The mirror will not discourage you. It will not show you doubt and hate and envy. No, it is you facing yourself. That is why if you love yourself and you believe in yourself and you can embrace yourself and you can do it in the mirror, then you could declare anything that you desire in the mirror and it will definitely become a reality in your life as long as you learn to have faith in the unseen, be loyal to the unseen. So with that, say, my brother, my sister, I just want to use these few words of encouragement to inspire and to encourage you and to teach you the power of the mirror and how to use the mirror to achieve your every desire to declare whatever you desire using the mirror because your mind is a mirror of who you are. Your environment, your outer environment is a mirror of who you are. This whole entire world is a mirror. Because everyone is actually out picturing of yourself, just a different version of yourself. So the rich man, the poor man, the beggar man, the thief is one mind, but just different arrangement of the same mind. Okay, so my brother, my sister, I want to say if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you and it really resonates with you, and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely would like to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you would like to have one-on-one -on -one with me, I'll definitely encourage you to reach out to me by way of email and I'll give you the terms and the conditions and we can go deeper down the rabbit hole and I guarantee you that you would be more committed, not just motivated. You would be willing to take your life another step further to discover the greatness that is within you just by having a one and one is very important for you to invest in yourself. Also, my brother, my sisters, if you like to follow me on Instagram, I like to follow me on TikTok. You can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly led to 
if you feel strongly led to support this work, I just want to remind you that we have a PayPal and that the link is always down below. Also, if you'd like to take my $20 course, it's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And also, you have a bonus one that is called Self Concept, the Self Concept course. It's also available to you once you are donating 20 or more dollars. So the choice is yours. So with that being said, my brother, my sister, I just want to say peace. Love you all. Um, out.